So today I accepted tomato defeat, unfortunately. I went to Territorial, I showed them pictures of my seedlings and told them the whole story about how I had started them in winter sowing jugs in March and I hardened them off, I put them out, they got devastated by hail, I brought them back in, I put them back out, it's been rainy and crazy and uh, they assured me that I probably would not get tomatoes from them because we just haven't had the weather for it. And I'm not the only one struggling, I guess. Um, we have, you know, we had been in a drought for like three years and it's been crazy, but now we've had record rainfall. Like we are far surpassing what we would normally get and temperatures are like up and down and all over the place. Um, so it makes me feel better knowing that like I failed, but I'm failing with everybody else, if that makes sense. So let me show you what I got. Okay, here's all of the babies. So, like I said, I went to Territorial and I showed them pictures of everything that was happening. And basically we decided the things that are doing really well are um, my cabbage and my kale and the broccoli and the snapdragons and everything that's not doing well are the peppers and the tomatoes. Um, and it turns out that all of the cold weather plants are doing excellent and all of the warm weather plants are not doing excellent. So it's obviously a weather thing. <sighs> it really bums me out because this is my first year doing vegetables. I've always done flowers, but I've never done vegetables. And I'm, I have this overwhelming feeling of like f extreme failure. And so I was like, please just tell me that like, I'm not failing. And they're like, you're not failing. It's like, it's so reassuring to hear them say like, it's okay. You're in the same boat as everybody, but man. So next year will be different. We'll see what happens. So I got a couple plants. These are not hardened off yet. These are early jalapenos. These were in their greenhouse because guess what? It's June and it's still not warm enough um, to get these guys out and going. So I have to harden these off. I got three jalapenos. Ooh, and then where's my other jalapeno? Here we go. There are my jalapenos, and then I got Lady Bell, Lady Bell peppers. I also got three of those. In back here, so all of these will come in the house if the temperatures drop below 50 degrees, which I don't think that we're gonna have that happen it might get close I'll bring them in tonight and it is gonna rain so rain all weekend um, I've got some tomatoes that are hardened off they're looking beautiful these bottom leaves are a little kind of grumpy so I asked them what is your favorite tomato so I got a grandma's pick is what it's called this is a large indeterminate tomato meaning that it's just gonna go and go and go and it doesn't have a specific size. It just will go in unless you cut it back. And then I got a hillbilly, same thing, indeterminate. If you don't know the difference between determinate and indeterminate, it's just that. So uh, determinate means there's a specific size that it's going to get. Um, and so you can, you know if you can plant in a container or a small space, something like that. These giant ones, like my plan is to have them grow up those hog panels that's why I planted the hog or excuse me that's why I planted the tomatoes where the hog panels are so I can kind of lash them there so that's where these guys are going oh they smell so good they smell like tomatoes and then I got so those are big those are big like sandwich slicer tomatoes you know um and these are the little guys so this is a sun gold they said that these are fabulous and they're little yellow little yellow tomatoes and then a sweet million that's the other one they said that they really really liked and um, same thing little tiny tomato and it's red but these will also get picked too this already has flowers on it honestly like I'm feeling like a little bit of a weight lifted going to get these tomatoes because I know that if everything goes right and it doesn't like something crazy doesn't happen I should have tomatoes this season I feel like I've like washed my hands of my situation that I'm in and I'm feeling okay about it
kind of. It's still super hard, but I'm feeling okay. I'm accepting it. Um, also, my nasturtiums, my nasturtiums um, up in the raised beds aren't doing super great, and I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's too much water or I don't know. I haven't. I have no idea. Um, maybe just hasn't been warm enough. I've got one over on the rocks. It's doing great. It's happy. It's fine. It's big. Um, but I've kind of neglected it, interestingly enough, and only like let it get watered from the rain. So I'm wondering, maybe I'm overwatering it in the beds along with all of the rain. So I got more nasturtium seeds. Night and day is what these are called. They're really cool. Um, I've never seen colors like this. It says pale ivory yellow contrast with bold mahogany adds an appealing zest to any container or border, right? So mahogany and pale yellow. More of these guys. The codifier. I can't help myself with these. They're just so beautiful and they're getting ready to bloom. See that? So I'm planning on putting that. Oh, hello. I'm planning on putting that along here. And I am growing yarrow. I've been growing yarrow from seed, and the yarrow is doing fantastic. But I got this bad boy because I love this color. You see that? Holy cow. That's beautiful. So, uh, again, I couldn't help myself. And it comes back. It's a perennial. I need more perennials. And, of course, I got more pink grass. So I'm going to go get these in the ground and hopefully feel better about the situation. These beautiful babies. Don't they look so nice next to the snapdragons? They're like, they're like cousins. I think at some point maybe I'll put these in the ground, but right now I'm really enjoying the fact that they're so close to my window and I can see them when I'm sitting on my couch. Okay, this is how I have them laid out so far. So this is gonna get tall. It's gonna have those beautiful orangey, peachy, oh, what a cool name too. Firefly, peach sky, super cute. Um, so this is gonna get up here. So I'll be able to see it out my window. It's gonna contrast nicely against this green stuff. This pink uh, muley grass is gonna get up tall and kind of take over the space. So it'll stand higher than that. It'll give like high, low, high. These guys are going to kind of tuck underneath. Beautiful. And give that orangey peachy glow against the, the pinky grass and the orangey yarrow. And then moving down here, I've got some ponytail grass um, that's beautiful in the wind. And that's going to hold up nicely against this because this is going to fade as time goes. This is a Solomon's um, seal. Love this. Came from my grandma's house. I've got more over there. Um, super cool, super prolific. And pink grass. That is a, oh gosh, a mum. And I'm hoping that it comes back. It's starting to get little green sprouts on it, so I'm letting it be. I do love mums. So if that mum does come back, it'll get up, you know, only so high. And then this pink grass will go over the top. It'll be like grass, the sky grass more yarrow to stand up tall, um, tucked in here. We're gonna do, we're gonna do another um, cone flower and then grass next to it to kind of add some of this height. So we've got, it'll be like grass, flowers, grass, flowers, grass, flowers, grass, all the way down. It'll be beautiful, I think, in the fall. And this is all gonna come back. That's my favorite part about it. If anybody wants to comment about how hipster I am for wearing socks with sandals, now's your chance. But welcome to Oregon in early summer. I'm so happy to be out here planting this stuff. It makes me feel super good. Um, it's like really heavy and hard to watch people who have like great YouTube channels who are like, I watched this lady last night who was like cleaning up from her spring harvest and she was like, I'm cleaning my garden from my spring harvest and letting my summer plants grow in. And I'm like, I, I didn't have a spring harvest. Like what the heck? She's like, and I've got some volunteers here taking over the garden. I'm gonna let them grow. And I'm like, I don't, I don't have any volunteers either. Like nothing, 
wants to grow. So I'm trying to like stay in my lane, you know what I mean? And not be so hard on myself. But it's nice to buy plants that are already somewhat grown. So I don't have to worry about their little seeds. <sighs> so that's where I'm at right now. Check this out. Look at all those worms. Look at all those worms. Super excited. Thanks guys for showing up to the party. Appreciate it. Okay, there we go. We're all in. I think it's gonna be super duper awesome when everything starts to get its color going. Okay, let's go do the thing. There has been no breach in the fence so far. So at least we're doing something right. Look at the broccoli. Look at the kale. Look at the cabbage. Doing good. The peas are doing good. Peas are doing good. All the dahlias are coming up. These guys are blooming. So these guys are coming up. Oh my gosh, there is even more coming up. I was not anticipating this. So, okay, I planted this guy, that guy, and that guy. But I planted these guys first. So, uh, uh, I'm gonna have a lot of pumpkins. That's totally fine, I'm totally fine with it. Um, this is some of the damage that I was talking about with them. They think that these just got a little scolded by the sun. You know, it just, they hadn't been out and then they were out and the sun got to them like we're fighting the weather you know this looks beautiful i planted this guy later than i planted these guys these guys are obviously struggling a little bit more because we're fighting with the weather but huge victory is the snapdragons like i cannot Look at, holy moly, that's like almost a flower. Oh, I wanted to zoom in. Look at, it's starting to get flowers. Like this is a victory for sure. Like I need to remember, that's a victory. Holy cow, oh my gosh, look. That's a flower. That's a flower. Oh yeah, see? It's gonna be okay. It's not so bad. I mean, some of this is bad. Like, that's pretty bad. But look at the new leaves. And look at these guys just coming up. So, we're fighting the weather, guys. We're fighting the weather. We're fighting the GD deers eating my stuff. But honestly, like, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. The things I care about are the dahlias and the snapdragons, and the rubecchia, and the peas. And I care about the tomatoes, but the tomato situation is out of my control at this point. I just gotta let it go. Because look how, look how cool these guys are. Those guys are awesome. Those guys are awesome. Check out the dahlias. Awesome, awesome, super awesome, super awesome, super awesome. Nobody's coming up here, but I see this little guy. Look at, where is he at? See that little tiny, teeny tiny thing? That's gonna be a flower at some point, I promise you. That's super awesome. Oh, you wanna talk about volunteers? I lied, I do have volunteers. I planted this, or I planted the straw. Unintentionally, I planted the straw. I put the straw down for mulch, and I'm getting a bunch of little guys coming up, because look, check it out. Not cool, but still, I'm gonna count that as a volunteer. These guys are not up yet because I just planted them not too long ago. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna claim victory for the moment and not be so hard on myself because it's so easy to compare ourselves to other people and like, we just gotta stop comparing ourselves to other people and know that everything's gonna be okay. And if it doesn't grow, it doesn't grow and we got next year. And the stuff that does grow, cool. Like. I just need to, I just need to chill out. Look, that's a pea. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. I don't think that I'm gonna pull these tomatoes out of the ground. 
I can't do it. I want to see if they live. I don't know if they will. I'm going to plant my tomatoes next to them and not completely go okay and throw my hands up in the air. But they told me that this is like weather related. But look how strong and happy that stem is down there. Like it's firm and hard and, and seems happy, but like, I don't know, it just might not do it. You know what I mean? So we're calling in backup and it's gonna be okay. So the plan is to put one large tomato and one cherry tomato next to each other. I'm gonna put one there and there and one there and there. That's the plan. Grandma's pick. And I'm gonna put the hillbilly right here. Right next to that guy. Maybe he'll put off some good vibes. And then I'm gonna take sweet million. I'm gonna put my sweet million right here. And then I'm gonna take my sun gold. And I'm gonna put my sun gold right here. God, I mean, you guys, this doesn't, it doesn't look terrible. It doesn't look terrible, right? There still might be hope, you never know. What if I just get like a bumper crop of tomatoes? I don't know, I've got insurance just in case with these guys, so. <sighs> I'm not, I'm not completely washing my hands of them, but this definitely does make me feel better. Interesting thing about tomatoes is that they grow roots up their stem. So I'm gonna plant him. I'm gonna pop this guy off. I pop that top one off. I'm gonna plant him all the way up to here so that it gets nice long roots. There we go. Now you could go all the way up to here if you wanted to, but I don't I don't need to go that high, I don't think. There we go. Cool. All right. I'll leave that little tag there so I know who we're talking about. And on to the next one. Ta-da! Everybody's in. I feel pretty good about it. If you want to talk about a victory, hey baby girl. She is doing so much better than she was. Um, and she laid an egg and she's just fine. So it's been about four days since she's laid and success. Good job, baby girl. I'm glad you feel better.